Hello everyone, welcome to Data in Nutshell. Today we are going to talk about how we can connect Python with Google Sheets and make edits in the Google Sheets with the help of Python, right? So before starting uh, the connection, right, we have to understand that Google Sheets and Google Drive are a part of Google Cloud. So if you want to access Google Sheets with a third party uh, tool or software, then you have to go through Google Cloud so that you can inform Google Cloud that I want to access Drive and then I want to access Google Sheets and I want to do some operations in the Google Sheets, right? So first we are going to go into Google Cloud and we are going to do these four steps, right? So I'll just open the console.cloud.google.com so the first step we have in hand is create a project, enable Google Drive API, then enable Google Sheets API, and then generate a service account. Okay. So I'll go to Google Cloud. Now I have this. Okay. So what you can do is you can go and create a new project. Click, uh, click here and you will get an option like this. Create new project. When you will create new project, you will name it. For example, if I enter it here, trial one, then click on create. It will show the pop up like this. And after creation, you can just select the project and see the name will change here from Python to Google Sheets trial one to trial one. Now this is an empty project, right? So. The second thing I have to do is enable Google Drive and then Google Sheets. Go into this, type Google Drive, Google Drive API. Just go and click on enable, right? And once it is done, similarly, you have to go and select Google Sheets API. Google Sheets API. So that means this project has access to Google Drive and then to Google Sheets, right? So after these three steps, project, Google Drive, Google Sheets, you have to generate service account. So you can, you can imagine um, service account as a gate, which has some keys in it. And this service account will be editing your Google Sheets. So how you are going to do is after giving access to Google Drive and Google Sheets, you will go and create, click on create credentials. You can also access them like from here. You will go and create it with the help of this button. Google Sheets, user data, next. And majority of the options, you can just leave it as it is for the name and for the star marked options, you have to give the email ID. Then here also I'll just put my email address, save and continue. And you can just go ahead and you can just put done. And after this, it will ask you for the application type. I'll just write web application and done. Right. I've created the credentials. Now I will go in this section, credential section, and I will see that we have a service account subsection in this. So I'll go and click on manage services, manage service account, and then I'm going to create a service account. Click on the service account, name the service account, service account one, for example, then create and continue select a role if you want access approval or you can leave it as it is as well and then click done now this is the member which is going to edit your google sheets if this member has an access to python as well as google sheets right so i'll just copy this email address this is a type of email address you can see dot gserviceaccount.com i'll just copy this I'll go to Google Sheet. 
will go and click on share button paste the address or the service account email in this section give edit access and then press send that means now this service account has an access to my google sheets it can make edits if we can access python to this service account then we can tell the service account go and update the google sheets right so this is all we have to do in here and after this only one step is remaining go to actions go to manage clicks and download the key so you just have to click on add key then create new key it should be json create and a new key will be created and and you can see a new key has been downloaded here right just go and open the folder and you can just rename it trial one test for example I'll just copy the name and rename it now everything is done here i have the keys through which i am going to access the service account and this service account will go and update my google sheets so now we are moving to my pycharm where i am going to write my python code so this is my python code where i am importing gspread the library with the help of which i am going to access the google sheets and edit it and with the help of this gspread i am calling service account and in the file name variable i am going to put the json file name which was downloaded from console.google.com and this is a path of that file name right and after that i'll create a variable sh in which i'm calling sa.open open what open the google sheet and google sheet is this the name of the sheet and after that create a variable sheet sh.worksheet worksheet means which tab i'm going to work on this will be sheet one so i'm writing it out as sheet one and after that sheet dot update update what cell a1 and with what text i have to update i want pbtc to be written in cell a1 in this sheet in this tab right so i'll go and click on run and it will update pbtc in cell a1 so this is how we can connect google sheets with python with the help of google console and to use it uh, to its full potential you have to go and read about gspread right gspread has different options available you can it's an open source library so you can just go and check the documentation how to update the ranges how to get value how to set value and there are multiple variations available in gspread so with this you can create your own programs which will go and edit google sheets and you can create your own custom um, interface with the help of this i hope you liked my video let me know in, in the comment section on what topics do you need uh, videos on related to google console and google sheets thank you very much